are so good. Blessed be thy name. Lord, you are so kind. Hallowed be thy name. Happy New Year to every one of you out there. It's a glorious, it's a wonderful thing to see a new year. To know that God has given us another opportunity of innumerable number of days, weeks and months for another year. As I wish you the best of the seasons, I have come to tell you that this year that you have entered will not be wasted in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. This year, when we get to December 31st and you look back, may your mouth and my mouth be filled with testimonies. Amen. More so, more importantly, with thanksgiving, praises, and worship unto God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Wherever you are, we want to say Happy New Year to you. We thank God for helping us throughout the year 2022 and he has brought us gloriously to this year. <clears throat> you know I don't start any broadcast without worship. And we end it bringing glory to God to make sure a soul is linked to God. So join us as we worship. We in the studio here, we are celebrating with you. I will say Feliz Navidad. Because for me, Christmas will not end until the end of January. And then New Year, we will not finish the spirit until the end of March. We give God all the glory. We are already in year 2023. The year of good fruits, the year of opportunities, the year of blessings, unprecedented great events of epic proportion is it's this year. And it will happen to you, it will happen to me in Jesus' name. Amen. Our God is wonderful. Jesus is a king who reigns, who rules, who acts, who behaves as his father. One of Mr. Chimo's songs is a blessing to me. He says, Jesus, I worship you today. Jesus, I bow before your throne. Oh Jesus, oh Nekanayae. I worship you today. Jesus, oh Nekanayae. I bow before you. I sing Jesus, oh Nekanayae. I worship you today. I bow before you. Nara, 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 Wherever you may be, lift up your voice. Let us thank God. Do you know how many people that passed on last year? I did not know I must have missed the news when I read on the internet this year, maybe two days ago on the first, the people that died in year 2022, especially among the Nollywood artists. I'm not much of a fan of Nollywood. I watch their movie from time to time as much as I can. The lady that straight bullet killed inside her husband's car. Mrs. Rahim. A young barrister, the only child of the mother. How many 
are we going to talk? How many are we going to discuss? But through it all, God carried me and you through. He has given us another platform, another opportunity to worship Him, to serve Him this year. And by the grace of God, we will not fall behind. We are created for God's pleasure. Everything about us will give Him pleasure this year in Jesus' name. Amen. We are on part 11 of our TPH broadcast, but the subtitle is Help on Daily Basis. So I want to welcome you to this broadcast of TP. This is a very special one. The very first in the new year, 2023. And this series, somehow, God is saying something to us. So by the grace of God, you keep on seeing starting testimonies as we are adding more. The Lord Almighty will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So welcome to part 11 of help on daily basis. Turn your Bible with me to 1 Samuel chapter 5. 1 Samuel chapter 4. From verse 5 to 11. This new year, don't allow negativity to thrive in your life. Don't be involved in pity party. You want help on daily basis? You need to play your part. You have work to do. You must be able to speak. The third spies gave negative reports in num the book of Numbers. But the other two gave positive reports. And they concluded by speaking. They said, we are able to go up and take that country. The country of 2023 belongs to me and you. We enter, we have entered already. We will take it by force in Jesus' name. Amen. 1 Samuel chapter 4, verse 5. This was a story of a so-called bunch of losers. Losing warriors. They were losing a battle. They were afraid even of their enemies, of their opponents. They were not to make it worse. They were not even children of God. Everything was against them. But they did something that the children of God at that time did not do. And God gave them victory. The principles of God, if an unbeliever applies it, believe me, it may win cheaply. I'm telling you. I've had several years some. Muslims even go to the camp, they pay tithes to the redeemed Christians of God. They believe in it and they are prospering. They are prospering, they are moving. God is honoring His word. One thing I know about God is that when it comes to God's word, He makes an exception. As me and you dwell into the word of God this year, God will make superb exceptions concerning me and you in Jesus' name. Amen. 1 Samuel chapter 4, verse 5 to 10. The Bible says, And when the ark of the covenant of the Lord came into the camp, all the Israel shouted with a great shout, so that the earth rang again. Each time before Israel was going to war, once they bring in the ark and they shouted, the enemy would be petrified and be shaken. And they just, it's just a walkover. But before they went for this particular battle, they have offended their maker. I pray for somebody listening to me. Me and you will not fall out of God's favor. Amen. What we do that will make God to turn his back on us, I will not do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Anyone that is after me and you to offend God to fall, God Almighty will handle them by Himself. Amen. He will plead with them to change their mind. If they don't change, God Himself will give them a recompense. In Jesus' name. Amen. So when you are doing the right thing, you can shout the name of God. He will defend you. Proverbs 18 verse 10. Proverbs 18 verse 10 says, It says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. When 
when the righteous run into it, they'll be safe. Only you look on who I make sure I bar any. Only you don't say what they read bala. Say the righteous run into it. If a, a, a ritual is run into that name without being a child of God, he may not be able to guess. He will guess how much. So these people, they have done wrong thing. They did not make peace with God, and they were shouting. Because you are a child of God doesn't mean that you should get involved in bad things. And you don't bother to make peace, to respect God and say, God, this thing I've done is not good. I'm sorry, sir. Have mercy on me. It's as simple as that. The Bible says, sacrificial offering God will not require. But a broken and a contrite heart, he will always listen to. According to Psalm 51, from the mouth of his dearly beloved, the apple of his eye, David the king. Say, the broken and the contrite heart. Humility. Show humility and repentance for what you have done. And then, you maintain your strength. It will strengthen you again before the enemy. I will read that verse 5 again because of the interruption. And when the ark, I'm reading 1 Samuel chapter 4, verse 5, from verse 5. When the ark of the covenant of the Lord came into the camp, all his friends shouted with a great shout, so that the earth rang again. And when the Philistines heard the noise of the shout, verse 6, they said, What meaneth the noise of this great shout in the camp of the Hebrews? And they understood that the ark of the Lord was come into the camp. It was not an ordinary noise. Verse 7, And the Philistines were afraid. The enemy of children of God are always afraid of us. This year, you will move with boldness in Jesus' name. Amen. For they said, God is coming to the camp. And they said, Woe unto us, for there hath not been such a thing heretofore. Verse 8, Woe unto us, who shall deliver us out of the hand of these mighty gods? These are the gods that smote the Egyptians with all the plagues in the wilderness. But verse 9, they changed their tongue. Two verses, verse 7, verse 8, verse, verse 8, and uh, verse 7, they said, woe unto us. But in verse 9, they said, be strong and quit yourself like men. O ye Philistines, say to yourself, mention your name. Say, William, will you have me? Say, William, will you have me? Be strong and quit yourself. Like a man. Like a man. Verse 9, they said to themselves, Be strong and quit yourselves like men, O ye Philistines, that ye be not servants unto the Hebrews. Then you go and serve your mate till death. Somebody is listening to me. You have worked and worked under people for years. This is your year of liberation. Amen. Amen. You will receive your liberation before the first quarter of this year will finish. God will send help to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Say that ye be not servants unto the Hebrews as they have been to you. Ah! They wanted them to be servants forever. Say, push yourselves like men and fight. Somebody's listening to me. Enough of pity party. Enough. Get up. Rise up from the ashes of defeat. Toss yourself. Clean yourself up. There are many more battles in the front. And as you face them in the name of the Lord, you will win in Jesus' name. Amen. Esther, and the Philistines fought, listen, and Israel was smitten. The dearly beloved of God was beaten, was smashed. They were smashed. And they fled every man unto his tent. And there was a great slaughter for their fell of Israel. 30,000 footmen. They killed 30,000 soldiers on that day. The Philistines said, quit yourselves like men. Because God says, when the righteous fall seven times, he should rise up seven times. God listened to the, to the enemy. Hey, from today, in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the name of Jesus is a special name in the ears of God. So I say again, in the name of Jesus Christ, wherever, wherever, the enemies of our destiny may be shouting, for mercy from God. May God never listen to them in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. May the Lord hear you. Amen. May the Lord answer you. Amen. Psalm 20. Psalm 20. 
The Bible says, Say, may the Lord answer you in the day of distress. Verse 1, Psalm 20 says, The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. I didn't hear you, amen. amen. The name of the God of Jacob, may he defend you. Amen. May he send help unto you from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. Amen. May God remember your offerings Amen. and accept Amen. your burnt sacrifice. Amen. May God grant you according to your own heart desire and Amen. fulfill all your counsel. Amen. May you rejoice in testimonies Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. As soon as they spoke that word, the tide changed. There is something about spoken word. Spoken word can alter things. We need to be very, very careful. The Bible says, wherever the word of the king is, there is power. Haven't you heard that? It's in the Bible. That wherever the word of the king is, anywhere that word is, power they there. If it's your or Babawa and Barawa, this year, may the word of God accompany me and you. Amen. May we move in power. Amen. The Bible says the kingdom of God is not in demonstration of nonsense. It's about power. It's about the Holy Ghost. Wherever me and you go, wherever our feet touch this year, may the power of God follow us there. In the name of Jesus Christ. The word of mouth is very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. I want to share some things with us before we pray. Some senior points with us before we pray. Hallelujah. This year, for you and me, we will draw water from the wells of deliverance. Amen. From the wells of breakthrough. Amen. We will draw constantly Amen. from abundance. Amen. We will draw victory always in Jesus' name. Amen. Why did I say so? Isaiah chapter 12, verse 3. Isaiah 12, verse 3 says, With joy shall we draw water out of the wells of salvation. This year, me and you, we draw water out of the wells of joy. Amen. Open everything that associated with soul is over in your life, in my life, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It is your year of great manifestations. Amen. According to Dr. D.K. Lukoya, he defined manifestation as an unveiling. Say, a manifestation is an unveiling. Manifestation is a disclosure. Say, manifestation is a taking off of a mask. Manifestation is a turning on of a light. Manifestation is an entering in into one season. Manifestation is an entering in into your time of positive exhibition. I hereby decree as a sent one and I speak to the womb of this new year. More power on you or this all. I say to your life and to my life Amen. that this year will favor me and you by fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our joy shall not be replaced by shame. It shall not be replaced by sorrow. Amen. Me and you will not buy the figure of sorrow this year. Amen. Every authority, every power that is waiting for us to buy the figure of sorrow, it shall be upon them in Jesus' name. Amen. The mouth is one appendage whose pivotal role cannot be done away with or ignored longer than necessary. The mouth is important. Say to yourself, say my mouth is important. My mouth is important. I will speak wholesome words. I will speak, I will speak, I will speak productive words. I will speak fruitful words. Sweet words will come out of my mouth. No matter how angry I am, I will not speak disastrous, destructive words. In Jesus' name. As we have already entered the new year, it is pertinent you plant early positive seeds deliberately and wet them daily with the water of positive confession. So that all you need to do after is to visit, is to sit back and prepare for an unusual bountiful harvest with joy. Let me repeat what I said. Say because we are already in the new year, it is important, it is pertinent, you plant early positive seeds. But what did you we? My son, as you wake up, begin to speak positively. Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. 
Galatians 6 7, the Bible says, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. This year, you and I will reap good fruits in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Speak against any bitter experience or results. The fact that they brought one result does not mean it, 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 it has ended there. God is faithful to his word. He has a track record for keeping his word. Now I'm enjoying that worship. He's a mighty God. Everything that is unpleasant around you, speak against it. Keep on speaking. It does not matter what you are saying. Keep on speaking. What did I say? Keep on, Keep on speaking. Speak over them relentlessly and unabatedly. What did I say? Speak against them relentlessly and unabatedly. Psalm 84 verse 6. Look at what this scripture says. Psalm 84 verse 6. He said, Who passing through the valley of Baca, make it a well. The rain also filled the pools. Do you know the meaning of Baca in Hebrew language? Baca, spelled B-A-K-H-A. Baca, in Latin means Valis Lacrimarum. In Latin, Valis Lacrimarum. Lacrimarum. And can be further described as the tribulations and travails of life that a Christian doctrine says can only be left behind after a total departure of a soul from this world. I repeat it. It can be described as the tribulations and travails of life. But the Bible says this level of agony, of pain, is something that many Christians may feel after departure, uh, 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 until they depart from this world. The word baka in Hebrew means to be well. It's not a good word. We are going back to that verse. The word baka means to be well. To rule somebody regretfully. In pain, in sorrow. To cry bitterly. To bite the finger of sorrow. To shed tears of sorrow. Or grief. Or in regret. The word baka can also mean tears of joy. I forgot. It can also mean tears of joy. But if, if it, it, it connotes an experience of one sort or the other, of great proportion, either bad or good, every unpleasant situation that has surrounded you and your family, I hereby join my faith with yours and I speak positively. Because that is what God loves. Amen. I decree and I declare that experience will change positively. Amen. It will change for you Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My mouth is a deliberate gift from God, my creator to me. Say the same thing. Repeat after me. Say my mouth. My mouth. Is a deliberate gift a deliberate from God, my creator. From God, my creator. Unto me. Unto me. I hereby. I hereby. Out of my mouth. Out of my mouth. Decree, decree good profit good profit in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. you my body you my, body. my, soul, my soul and my spirit and my you must spirit. always cooperate you must always with my mouth with my to, mouth. Do to do me good anytime my flesh want to emit otherwise reject anything negative and refuse to cooperate with any negative utterance that my spirit wants to bring out in Jesus' name. The mouth is an amazing appendage. I remember years ago, my wife was pregnant of our last born. We have had a bitter experience during the birth that the doctor that took the delivery of our first boy hit him on the head with a faucet and four days later the young man passed on it was a very very painful experience many people were worried for me they said 
this man did not cry at all. He was too bitter. I didn't even know I was feeling. After that, I went came back to another young lady. And I knew that she really wanted to have a young man. But as far as I'm concerned, the three girls, once they glorify God, it's okay. No parent wants their name to be soiled by their children. Especially children that they devote their life time to raise. Very well. So my wife became pregnant again. And months into the pregnancy, she had gone for some scan. Later she got me involved and said, the scan is revealing this. I knew she had probably done one and she had seen the results. Or two. And it was time for us to go for the annual convention at the Redeemed Christian Church of God, where I worship and I still worship till date with them. And uh, we went to Lagos. On a particular day, I went to see my mother in law in Lagos Island. And then, then there was no mobile phone telephone. No mobile telephone in operation that time. It was landline, analog. So to receive call to hear my wife, I was in my mother in law's place, took the call, talked to them, etc. But when I got there, my wife was not around. It was a house help that was staying with us then called Baby Dele. That was in the house. And as soon as she heard my voice, she just Started really now negative news after negative news. Hey, mommy, madam is in the hospital. Oh, she has been bleeding. Oh, big, big blood like this, thick, thick blood, blood, blood coming out. Hey, if you say she don't lose the baby, I did not know where from my spirit I roared at her. Somebody, this testimony is going to affect you positively. You may have received negative testimony. This testimony will change your life. Before, unfortunately, for this house lady, the house help that we had, I had read a testimony of Bishop David Odeko in one of his books. You know, I always mention it because I meant that their testimony affected my life a lot. And he was talking about a pregnancy that Mommy Feto Odeko had. That the doctor said he had gone out preaching, traveled, and he came back from the journey. She was under admission. And doctors gave him reports. And of course, he went to sit by the wife on the bed. Before she was discharged, he made declaration to the wife and said, All the blood that you saw is a wasted blood. You will deliver this child safely. And of course, that child is a living entity today. He's healthy and healthy alive. That was what the doctor said. It has been aborted, it has been miscarried. I speak to your vision, to my vision. I speak to your dream and my dream. I speak to your physical pregnancy that you are carrying. That they told you it has been miscarried. The baby will live in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will receive your vision back. Amen. You will receive your baby back Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. One of our close relatives told me about a sister during one of my retreats years ago. All glory to God. And they told me of the suffering she has suffered in the husband's house, um, the abolition, etc. And this lady and her husband, they've been looking for a child. Eventually, she got pregnant and they said, she just had a sin blow. All the baby, everything came down. And then, eventually, they asked for permission. They brought the lady to come and see me. And when they brought her to me, in the course of praying, there was an holy anger that rose in me. That what they said is gone is still there. So I made a declaration to her. Yes. I declared, I said, that baby is inside you. You will deliver that baby. What you saw was only blood. Don't go to hospital now. After some few months, go again. It's possible they won't even say anything until you deliver. God wants to glorify himself. I said, by the time the enemy will see your stomach bulging, it will be too late for them to do anything. Safety. Exactly as the Lord spoke through me. That was what happened. By the time she was about eight months or eight months plus, 
her stomach bulged outside. But she knew all the while that baby started kicking. Few days after that war, she felt alive again. She went about as I instructed her, went to the market, bought children's clothes. I said, buy for a male child. She bought. And over the years, this lady after delivery, we forgot about the matter. There was an event in my church. Somebody came to do child dedication. She was among the guests. And then she kept on greeting me and forgotten her. It's been a long time. The boy was now, is now seven years old. And he said, Pastor, you've forgotten me. I said, who are you? He said, I'm the lady that you prophesied. I mean that you saw this, you said this to. That particular boy, they said, has been aborted, has been miscarried. This is the miracle child. And I saw one young man smiling up at me. He wasn't uh, uh, looking at me as a moral. He was hale and healthy and sound. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why was I able to speak to that woman? Because I've had experience before. Jesus said to Peter, he said, Simon, Simon, the devil desire to sift you, but I pray for you that your faith will not fail. But after you are strong, strengthen your brethren. It is by the experience you have gone through that you will be able to counsel others better. Because I've had that experience before. When that lady was speaking, I spoke as the Spirit of God led me. When I was at the car, after the prying the lady, because as she was speaking, saying, Mommy, your wife is in your school. She has been releasing blood, blah, 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 blah. Negative reports. I told her, I said, Shut up! I to stop her, to stop her then. I said, Shut up! All those blood that you saw is a wasted blood. My baby and my wife, they are okay. Nothing will happen to them. I came back after the convention and I met my wife. She was on admission at the hospital. The doctor said, Go and do another test. We went for the test. The scan she was showing girl. Everything was showing a baby girl. But I told the doctor, I said, I am seeing the organ of, of a man. I'm seeing the manhood of a boy. The woman got angry and wrote the report and sealed it. It was not a pleasant meeting. I took it over the doctor of my wife. He called me outside. I didn't want my wife to know. He said there, I said, forget, I knew what the doctor wrote. But I'm telling you, this is a boy. To cut a long story short, the same doctor, the night my wife was going to deliver, I was a CS. He did not know that it was my wife he attended to. God made him to forget. It was in the morning when he saw me. He said, This is not possible. He was the one who announced my testimony in the world. All nurses that were looking for male children, even those who are delayed in birth, they were all coming to shake my hand so that they can make a point of contact to, 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 to tap into the, in, in, into the favor and the anointing. I prophesied to somebody listening to me. What they told you is over. It's just the beginning. In the name of Jesus Christ, I carried my own bundle of joy. He's 24 years old today. He's going to be 25. He's the last born. You will carry your bundle of joy. You will, your, your goals and your vision will come to fruition. They will manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. Every mouth that has spoken against my vision, against your vision and your dream, that it will not manifest. They, in the name of Jesus, may the fire of the Holy Spirit shut their mouth forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. They say he that goes to the river very early will not fetch dirty water. Every day and day you go to the river of life, we will not fetch dirty water. We will not get there and the river will dry. Our will be gone. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My child is alive. He will outlive me as the Lord lives. <laughs> he will achieve purpose in life. Nothing will stop his destiny. As my own destiny is unstoppable, nothing will stop his destiny. In Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor Adebuye prophesied at the meeting. Let me conclude that testimony for you. As I led that girl and told her it's a wasted blood, I came back and read Bishop Oedepo's book and his testimony. I got to come. As they finished worship, Pastor Adebuye said there is a man here. And I had clearly in my spirit. You are the one. And he said, there is a man here whose wife is heavily pregnant. She's supposed to deliver any minute from now. And 
between you and your wife, you have had several girls. And she can have been done one or two times. And it has revealed a baby girl. But God said, if that man is here, that that report is a negative report. Yes. That if that man is here, let him shout hallelujah. That is all he needed to do. That the matter is sealed. What he requested for, him and his wife will be granted to them. My friend, if you are listening to me, I didn't shout hallelujah. I climbed benches. They were using benches. They only did. I climbed benches and I jumped from that bench. I screamed to jump down. I screamed hallelujah. Screaming is louder than shouting. And then he looked towards me, to my to my side, and he said, it is done. Ha! When I go to one doctor, they said she was Russian trained, said I'm seeing a female organ. I said, for me, I'm seeing manhood. And to God be the glory. Today, God gave us what we desired, what we asked him. We told him, I said this boy will not come and glorify your name. If he will serve you, then male and female you made in the garden of Eden. Yes. And God answered us. As somebody opened his or her mouth in your mouth to speak, to make declaration, God will answer you. Amen. And God will surprise you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Job 22 verse 28 and 29. Job 22 28 and 29 says, Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. Verse 20, verse 29, brother. When men are cast down, then thou shalt say, the Bible says, you will say with your mouth, there is a lifting up. Say to yourself, I am lifted up. I am lifted up. There's a lifting up for me. There's a lifting up. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. There is a lifting up, and it shall save the humble. God will save the obedient, not the arrogant or disobedient person. It is time to leave behind all the disappointments of failures of the past years after learning from your errors it is time to move on say to somebody move on, move on. exodus chapter 15 verse 15 to 16 exodus 15 verse 15 to 16 the bible says and god with his mouth spoke to moses wherefore criest thou unto me speak unto the children of israel that they go forward that they go forward. God is saying to somebody listening to me this year, that you should do what? Go forward. Go forward. I am going forward. I am going forward. In Jesus' name. In Jesus. Verse 16. But lift thou up thy rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it, and the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. Many of us have the abilities, powers, we can lift up our hands. With my hands lifted up, with my heart filled with praises, with my mouth filled with praises, with a heart of thanksgiving, I will praise you, oh God. I will praise you, my Father. I will praise you, oh God. With a heart of thanksgiving, I will praise you, oh Lord. Say, so I will never listen. Say, with my hands lifted up, with my mouth filled with praises, with a heart of thanksgiving, I will praise you. There is something you can do. Go to Moses. Lift up your hand and the rod in your hand. Hey, child of God, there is a rod in your hand. There is a spiritual rod God has given to you. It's a scepter of authority. And the enemy will not take it from my hand and your hand in Jesus' name. Amen. Begin to defy the rest before you. The power, every innate, every innate good gift inside of you and capabilities you possess. To divide the raging red seas of life. Let them begin to manifest now from inside you and myself in Jesus' name. Amen. The power to divide the oceans of life and overcome impossibilities begin to operate from within you. Henceforth, with divine power in Jesus' name. Haggai chapter 2, chapter 2, verse 21 to 23. The Bible says, And it shall come to pass in that day. I will hear, say the Lord, I will hear the heavens. And they shall hear the earth, and the earth shall hear the corn, and the corn shall hear the wine, and the wine shall hear the oil, and they shall hear just real. Now you are going to say after me. From that verse 21, say, and it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. From today. From today. God will hear me. God will hear me. Say the Lord. Say the Lord. God will hear the heaven. 
news. And the heaven shall hear the earth. And the earth shall hear the corn. And the corn shall hear the oil. And the oil shall hear with the mother of me. All of them together shall hear with the mother of me. And God will show me unto himself. God will show me unto himself. And he will have mercy upon me and my family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. It is bad. In 1 Samuel chapter 4, that we read our text, verse 5 to 10. The Bible says 30,000 footmen were killed because they refused to entertain the spirit of fear. The Philistines said, Quit yourselves as men and fight. The Bible says in Timothy, I'm coming there, that we should not be afraid. That was not the spirit God put in our DNA. We are not wired as a fearful being. But the Bible says in Psalm 139 verse 14 that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Because they refuse to entertain the spirit of fear, irrespective of the noises from the camp of the enemy, but rather confess with power, positive confessions. They were all granted what they spoke and professed unto the heavens. I decree in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, irrespective of the noise of anybody trying to distract me and you. What? You are pregnant and pregnant. When a woman is pregnant and about to deliver, everything looks as if it's incomprehensible. They will be able to handle, but when the baby comes forth, when God has helped her, God will fill the land. He will fill the entire household. Me and you will bring forth. May God shut the mouth of the tractors in the name of Jesus. Amen. All of you are all see big. You will give back to your vision. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is the person speaking like God and say your life will not know joy? That you will not enter into your rest when they are not God. I decree, may God shut the mouth of your haters forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Numbers 14 28. Number 14 28. God said, I will do exactly as you have spoken. As you have confessed now, God is doing it already. 7 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 7 Timothy 1 7 the Bible says for God had not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind yes. God wants to be bold God did not create us to be a confused person I will not be confused in my life I will not be confused in my life in the name of Jesus Christ Romans chapter 8 verse 15 Romans 8 15 says for ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Father. From today, every spirit of bondage in your life, I punish them in Jesus' name. Amen. Go to the What you are What you are In the name of Jesus Christ. Second Corinthians chapter seven verse one. I'm running on that one much. Second Corinthians chapter seven verse one. The Bible says, Having therefore these promises. What did I say? These promises. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh. Having therefore these promises, the promises are there already. It can't be stolen from me and you. Oh, what if it's God who gave them to us? Yes. That's what it says. Is it not me that holds my job? The, the joy that Jesus Christ gave to me. Satan cannot struggle my joy with me. Jesus gave it to me. It's me. It's me. It is customized from heaven. Your joy shall not be stolen. I will not In the name of Jesus Christ. For you to continue to enjoy help on daily basis, you must be resolute to put your mouth to work and make declarations as we have been doing. Our Lord Jesus Christ has been operating by positive spirit from the beginning till now and he has not changed. The Bible says, according to Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2, Isaiah 11 verse 2, the Bible says, And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge, of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. I prophesy to somebody listening to me and those in the studio here, from today, may the Spirit of wisdom rest upon you Amen. and me, and the Spirit of understanding, Amen. may the Spirit of, of counsel and might, Amen. may the Spirit of knowledge, and the fear of the Lord rest upon all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. In Isaiah 59, verse 
19. As I return to verse 19, the Bible says, Show so shall this fear the name of the Lord from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a sand against him. I prophesy again. Everything negative that has been altering your life, fighting, militating against your life and my life. In the name of Jesus, may the spirit of God, may the spirit of God raise a standard against them in Jesus' name. Amen. We have divine assurance. Assurances. We have divine assurances to face this new year with gusto. To prevail. To conquer and to overcome in Jesus' name. Amen. Open your mouth and make the following declaration with me. Say, I have started this year with joy. I have started this year with joy. I shall not end this year with sorrows. I shall not end this year with joy. I will not bite the finger of regret. I will not bite the finger of regret. At the end of this year in Jesus' name. At the end of this year in Jesus' name. I am a fatal ground. 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 I am a fruitful vine. I am a fruitful vine. I am a productive bow. I am a productive bow. All my good seed All my good shall multiply. Shall multiply and endure. And endure upon, upon the face of the earth. Every bad seed. Every I have sown in years past. They will not germinate. They will not germinate. By the mercy of God upon my life. I will not bring forth for trouble. I will not bring forth for trouble. Every day. Every day. They emerge. They emerge. From the pregnancy of heaven. From the pregnancy of heaven. And this year. As he marched from the pregnancy of the womb, they shall produce goodness unto me and not evil. In the name of Jesus, darkness will not swallow me and my family. The light of God will be my guide during the day and in the night. In the name of Jesus, the Spirit of God we form a rampart of protection round about me and my loved ones as a pillar of cloud by the day and a pillar of now fire by the night I will invest and eat the good fruits of the earth all the days of my life in the name of Jesus Amen Say I am Barnabas I am a child of consolation. I am a child of consolation. I am a super. I am a super. And I am a comfort to many. And I am a comfort to many. That is what I will remain. That is what I will remain. And continue to be to many. And continue to be. And as the Lord lives, and as the Lord lives, many will find fulfillment. Many will find fulfillment. And be accomplished. And be accomplished. Through God, you see me. Through God, you see me. In their lives, in Jesus' name. In their lives, in Jesus' name. I will not be lost. 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 Into the maze of 2023. Into the maze of As it is written. As it is written. In that day. In that day. I will hear. Say the Lord. According to our guy. Chapter 2. Chapter 2. Verse 21 to 23. Chapter I will not be lost. God will hear me. In the name of Jesus Christ. I hear my decree. I prophesy upon myself. Beat your chest and prophesy. Say my fertility. You are restored. My joy. You are restored. My confidence. You are restored. My prosperity and success. You are restored. I am a flourishing vine. Fresh oil. It's restored to me. It's restored to me. I will not be blind. I will not be blind. I will not become deaf. I will not become deaf. I will not become dumb in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. All the plans of the wicked. All the plans concerning me and my family. Before now. Before now. Before now. Before now. Presently. Presently. All that may be in the future. All that may be. They shall all be in futility. And they shall be of no effect. And they shall be of in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Say boldly. Say I am a line crosser. I am a line crosser. I am a boundary breaker. I am a boundary breaker. I am a boundary break breaker. I am a mountain mover. I am a mountain mover. And I am obstacle crusher. I am irrepressible. And my destiny cannot be stopped. Because I belong to God. And I am a carrier of his DNA. And I am his Therefore, DNA. I am an overcomer. In Jesus' name. In Jesus. Finally, see after me. See, I will not fail. I will not fail. I will not fall. I will not fall. I will not falter. I will not fall. I will not backslide. 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 I will for sickness and disease. In Jesus' name, I command Ephata. 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 Let those of favor, of every kind of goodness, 